Thank you for tuning in to Pierce Politics. We're on here today with Matthew Dressel Health from Hello. East Grand Rapids, Rhode Island. Freshman here, uh, freshman here currently. He's going to be a sophomore next year, and also the parliamentarian for the SGA Executive Board. Thank you for joining us, Matt. Anytime, Alex. So, Matt, I'm curious. Why? Did, what really made you want to become the SGA parliamentarian? Well, it all started out when I was just getting in here. Um, for me, transitioning from high school to college, I kind of noticed it as I get to start over because in high school, I didn't take opportunities that I was given. In here, I've learned that it's a small school and you can get so many opportunities. I just said, all right, I'm going to start out in SGA, see where it goes. So um, basically throughout my first and second semester here, I've learned that like I've really enjoyed SGA. It definitely meant something to me because a lot of people um, that are part of SGA have the same goal as me, and that's to make a change on this campus. And I want, I saw this as an opportunity to lead them because we all have the same interests. And I just said, look, I want to help these people out. And I know they can look into me because I want to do the same things they do. So I decided to run um, and I won. And it feels great because I'm really, I'm really looking forward to next year helping out with the freshmen coming in, um, getting their class situated and being an effective body uh, representing the freshman class for student government next year. So obviously you're going to be on the uh, executive board with another freshman currently, Rob Sorrell. Yep. And so what do you think it really like, means to have two sophomores on the SA executive board? Well, seeing as we're all similar ages, I guess, but um, having four years in college, what I can see it as being a sophomore, I can potentially stay here from sophomore, junior, and senior year. So that means I can possibly have up to three years of experience on the exec board, mm -hmm. meaning that I can, ha I can look back every year and say, what can I improve myself on and how can I make SGA better? So I, I seen that as me running as a freshman was a great opportunity to say, I can have so much experience and bring so much to the table and be so prepared to help the other, the new body coming in and the new exec board coming in every year with my experience. I think the same thing with Rob, it's just, Having a, a new fresh body is just, it's so essential because you have new ideas and you just, you get the experience you need. And so what is the SJA parliamentarian's main role for people that may not know what that is? So I'm primarily concerned with how, well, two things. One, during the meetings, I'm kind of seeing as the overseer, I guess. The president's more of just the face of SGA and I'm kind of more of the behind the scenes of looking behind of how what we use as Robert's rules and seeing how those get implicated into using our, how motioning works and how voting works within SGA. So that's how budgets get passed um, through student government for events to happen on campus. I'm also um, in charge of Rules and Elections Committee, which is changing the rules, changing our constitution to update it and to put in new rules um, to make student government more effective and up to date. And I'm also concerned with uh, elections of how, especially this year with freshmen coming in, um, how to get them situated and getting them to have petitions, getting involved in their class, representing their class, and having their whole body know, their whole student body know, I, we want these people running and we want them in SGA. And, and so how do you think you're going to be able to go about that this year? Well, we have, so tomorrow is, um, I came back from committee and we have a lot of changes to freshman elections. Uh, I'm primarily concerned with them right now because from what I saw from my first year being here, the freshmen, it's not that we were treated wrong, but we just didn't have the right people representing SGA. So my primary change I want to make on this campus is to definitely, at least this year, get the freshman class to be more organized when they first come in. Um, that's basically it. I just want to make a big change for freshmen. Made them more aware of knowing that in elections are happening, got to get petitions yep. in. Yep. Nice, nice. And as far as like the, the regular SGA goes, you know, you see any like different changes that could possibly be made? Um, so from what we've discussed, something I've kind of also noticed is I was a senator for freshmen and you can see the freshmen senators and just senators in general really, they don't necessarily have a big role um, in SGA. They do the basics of voting and that's really it and going to the meetings. We kind of want to change it up so that senators not given more power, but they are seen to be more essential, more than just representatives of the class, and they can actually do something in SGA. And what, what possible things do you think it would be? be um, things could be from either 
taking only senators allowed to vote. So it means class representatives and class senators mm -hmm. are the only people that are able to vote on budgets. That's one thing off the top of my head I can think of for changes. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And so any any changes as like SJA whole, not necessarily as the rules of election committee chair, but any possible big changes coming up this year? For this year? Or, or, goals, oh. or goals in general for your... Well, I kind of already said my goals. Um, I don't have anything else at the top of my head right now. A lot of the changes that would be coming up are what happens, say, during a week. So if something happens during a week and it's kind of like we need to discuss this and how to change it for the future, then I guess like if we have emergency meetings, um, that's some way I can change it. I can just, we can come up as a group and say, what this happened, how can we fix it? Mm -hmm. And it could come up to me, it can come up to any of the other exec board members, and we could decide of how are we gonna how are we gonna solve this problem for the future so it doesn't happen again. That's that's something I can just think off the top of my head. It's just what happens in the future. Oh, uh, very interesting. Yep. Anything you want the people of the student body to know about you? Any fun facts or <sighs> so a lot of you know I'm a freshman, I'm very involved on this campus. Um I really enjoy it here. Uh, this campus has given me a lot of awesome opportunities. And I say right now, if, especially if you're an incoming freshman, take the opportunities given to you because someone else will. Very cool. Well, thank you for joining us, Matthew. Anytime. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Yo, you want another drink? Nah, you know what? I think I'm all set. The last one was pretty strong. I already had three. All right, fine. Well, I'm just, I'm gonna keep drinking, so. You know what, I might head out, so I'll catch you later, all right? All right, all right, no problem. See you later. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to head down to the court. Yeah, okay, I'll see you there. All right, bye. We're back on Pierce Politics with Dave Hamilton from uh, Hookston, New Hampshire, and the SCA body president now. So, uh, welcome for the show, David. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, thank you for joining us. So, Dave, what really made you want to run for SCA body president of Franklin Pierce? Oh, you're going to ask for my, uh, my full story here. <laughs> uh, so, basically, you know, I, when I first started in SGA, I was just a club rep. I wasn't really, um, I mean, uh, it's still a very significant role, but I, I never expected myself to be a SGA president. I um, I walked into my first meeting and I was like, wow, this is really cool. Like, I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's just crazy how many rules and, like, uh, not rules, but just, like, procedures yeah. there were. And, uh, you know, I just ended up running for class president. Um, and, and I won. And it was great. And uh, I really enjoyed that. So I decided to, I, I was having trouble deciding on what I wanted to run for for my, uh, my junior year. And um, one of my friends kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys know Alan Stout, but um, he pushed me to run for uh, SGA Executive Treasurer. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed that position. I loved being on the exec board. It was great to be on a team. And uh, from that point on, I knew I was going to run for president for my senior year. And I just, you know, I love, I love talking to students. I love being with students. And uh, I absolutely love this school. Like, this, this place is yeah. definitely my home. So uh, I just, I knew SGA president would be something I really wanted to do. And, uh, you know... What is it really like to be the you know be elected SGA president? You know the highest position really in SGA or any kind of student group. You're it's, elected and you won. So it's honestly it is such an honor. I mean you know I know it's just words, but it's just it's incredible. It's so nice to know that I have so much support from from everyone on campus and that they're willing to trust me with their voice. Like um, it's just it's weird being you know the the face of the school. You know. Yeah. Um, it's it's just it's it really is such an honor to be able to say that I am representing you guys and it's it's the most fun and most challenging thing I've ever done. And so for people that may not may not know the role of the president of SGA student body, what is kind of like the main role of 
SGA president? Um, uh, well, I mean, to start, you're the chairperson of the SGA body, so you um run and direct the the meetings that we have each week, Wednesdays at six thirty in Marcus Hall one hundred two. Um, other than that, uh, we I oversee the executive board and the things they do. I mean, I try to, you know, not be like the overseeing power. I just mm -hmm. I'm there to work with them, and that's the goal. Uh, and you know, when it comes to just being SGA president, like I am in charge of the uh, the policy and capital improvements committee. So I kind of oversee um, big like policy changes that the school uh, is the student body, I should say, are concerned about. And then I also oversee uh, person like we get a budget of roughly six thousand dollars to uh, make changes to campus, mm -hmm. uh, which is really cool and it's it's really exciting because we actually get to make physical changes without having to be like, okay, this is what we're looking to do, um, and it has to go through all these different processes. We actually just to get to go out and do this. Um, outside of that, you know, I I, I basically speak for the students uh, on behalf as, as best as I can. I try not to put words in people's mouths, but I, uh, I try to make sure the concerns are heard. And so what kind of uh, capital policy um, changes are you looking for to do this year, upcoming school year? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we have a few, actually, that were suggested to me, and we're still kind of brainstorming. Uh, but some personal stuff, like we were hoping to get uh, some sort of community board down at Lakeview because one of the biggest concerns with student involvement this past year was getting upperclassmen involved in a lot of events on campus. Like we have a lot of cool stuff going on on the weekends and half the time, you know, the CAs find it extremely difficult to, to get the word out to them, uh, never mind everyone else up on campus. And we just don't have a community place to put posters or to put uh, information for all the seniors down there at Lakeview to get, uh, you know, informed on what's going on. And another one was, uh, we've noticed that a lot of students are continuously getting outside whenever it's nice out. And, they don't have many places to sit, so we were looking to budget for some very decent picnic tables for yeah. uh, throughout campus, and we were looking to see if uh, maybe like the clubs and classes would want to paint them, and we could put a polish on them, so that way it gets that artistic aspect to the school as well. And as far as you know, your role, you're kind of in charge of making different policy changes on the campus, you know, through the student body handbook and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Any kind of big changes your committee is looking at this year? Uh, for policy, we actually, the way we decided to break up committee this year was uh, kind of interesting. It's really, it's unoriginal um, in terms of uh, the history of the committee. We look to break it up so that way we use the budget for the first semester and then the second semester we focus on policy. And the reason for that is is um, we'll be more experienced when it comes to that time. Uh, I don't want to jump into committee and try to, um, you know, make policy changes without every one of my committee being experienced on what's going on this year. You know, like um, the new glass policy, like we, we helped out a little bit with that, um, but you know, it, it, it really depends on what we decide is really crucial to the students. Uh, most of the time students tend to come to us with their concerns and you know, what's, what's better than basing it off of that. Yeah, and so how do you trying to get um, the message out about SGA this year, you know, through different platforms? Well, we're looking to get a little more rep as a little more representation from the student body. Um, we're trying to see, you know, if we can get different represent re representatives from different areas of campus. Um, you know, so that's a that's a, a pretty good basis for what we're trying to do. Um, we're really trying to work on our communication as well. We're trying to have an open dialogue sort of uh, uh, goal this year. Mm -hmm. We want to see if we can find a way to make it so that way our agenda as a whole is open to uh, being adjusted for the students. We want to make sure that if people are willing to come to our SGA meetings, we have a time for them to talk. Uh, we, you know, it, it's there's so many different ways you can go about it. We're continuously looking into them. I mean, we we've um, we just started a few weeks ago, so it's yeah. a little difficult to um, to say specifics, but we are definitely looking to make sure that everyone gets involved. If you look back at your three years of SGA representation so far, what would you say like your proudest moment as an SGA member was? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, I, I don't think I've really had uh, e even too many bad ones, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah. I've, um, you know, it's it's definitely posed a huge challenge to me, and I'll, I'll admit that any day of the week, but I, I will absolutely say that, you know, my proudest moment was uh, finding out that I won. Yeah. Um, and it, 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 as I said before, it, it just means m so much more than just winning an election. It, it's knowing that you have 2,000 students back in you. And that put trust in you to, to speak for them. It's just, you know, it, that's my personal proudest moment. Yeah. Um, 
you know, I, I feel like it's like a bit selfish, but yeah. it's true. You know, it's an incredible feeling. Um, I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> and how to ask you any any regrets? You know, any bad any bad votes or any kind of uh, bad decisions you think during your career? Um, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm perfect by any means. Uh, you know, there's we've definitely made interesting decisions in where we haven't reacted to situations quick enough and and we haven't um, done things swiftly enough mm -hmm. uh, this you know this past year we had a lot of difficulty with that and the good thing is is being on the SGA exec board for a second year I can look back at that yeah. and understand what was wrong uh, the communication piece had to start with a good basis on the executive board and I feel like we didn't have a very strong communication between us yeah. and with that we can actually look to change that this year yeah that's very good. Any kind of funny or things you want to know your your student body people that voted for you to know about you? I mean, I can honestly say I'm I'm very uh, comedic in my own uh, interesting sense. Um, you know, I I'm very serious, but also very jokingly. So uh, I'm definitely friendly enough for you to come up and talk to though. So yeah. if I'm if I'm being a little sarcastic, I promise it's just my personality. That's how I you know live. <laughs> Any kind of Twitter or Instagram that your 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 people can find you at? Um, well, I mean, my pe me personally, I'm just you know David Hamilton, but um, you know I, I would definitely suggest following the SGA Twitter and uh, Facebook clubs page. Yeah, um, we're we're trying to work on the whole social media aspect this this next year. So. Yeah. Well, we'll look for some good stuff this year. Thank you for joining us, David. Uh, thanks we'll for having me. We'll see you in the future. It's been a pleasure.